Neymar has been known for his flair and is possibly the best flair player on the planet. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Two Minute Tuesday on my channel. Today we are going to be discussing Neymar Jr. As you can tell by the title, we are going to be discussing whether or not he has underachieved since going to uh, PSG, whether he's made the most of his career and what he could have achieved at Barcelona or at different clubs had he not have chosen to go to PSG. And overall, we're going to evaluate his time in the French capital. If you do enjoy, be sure to like and subscribe. I'm trying to hit 150 subscribers by the end of the month, so I could really use with your guys' help. Anyway, let's get straight into it. So as we all know, Neymar was a key part of Barcelona's success um, prior to 2017, forming a formidable partnership with Messi, Suarez, and of course, those players further behind. Neymar has been known for his flair and is possibly the best flair player on the planet. He is absolutely sensational, his skills are really good. I personally think it's maybe a little bit over the top and I don't like his diving, but there is no doubt in anyone's mind that Neymar is very talented. Always known as sort of like the third best player on the planet with Messi and Ronaldo higher and way way ahead. What we've got to decide to find out whether Neymar has overachieved or underachieved is really what he could have achieved at Barcelona and what he has achieved at PSG. So as we know last season he reached the Champions League final with PSG and since Neymar has left um, Barcelona and they have signed Coutinho. Barcelona haven't done very well in the Champions League. They've been knocked out by Liverpool and they haven't reached the final. So in that in that regard, yes, Neymar has managed to reach the Champions League final again, which is something that, you know, as a footballer, is one of the highest things you can do in European and world football. Could he have moved to Manchester City or um, stayed at Barcelona and projected them higher. Maybe so. Manchester City always look one player away from sort of really challenging in the world-class category. He wouldn't have been able to move to Bayern Munich. I don't think they'd be able to afford him. With Neymar still at Barcelona, I don't think they'd have encountered all the problems which they have in recent years, with Messi calling for the president to try and re-sign Neymar on numerous occasions. That is something to really look at when evaluating Neymar, is the fact that, yes, he's won numerous French Liga and titles and people say it's a Farmers League or whatever but if he'd have gone to Manchester City he'd have won the Premier League but he wouldn't have won the Champions League and I don't think he would have done any better outside of France. Another thing to look at is goals and assists and the amount of games played. Neymar has been unfortunate in recent years with injuries. I say unfortunate it looks like it's down to his own fault because he always seems to manage to get his sister's birthday off and his mother's birthday off and stuff like that. He's only actually played 20 games in a season. That's the max he's played in one season. That is something to look at as well whilst his goals and assist ratio is fantastic as we all know the French league has a reputation of not being the best league on the planet and with Mbappe in that team as well you've got to question whether he's really reaching his full potential there I personally don't think he is I think if he'd have moved to a place like Manchester City or Bayern Munich, someone who could afford him, I think he'd have had much more of a challenge and I think he would have uh, strived forward in his career a lot more. Like I said, this has all got to be taken in mind. He is still 29, but having just signed another contract with PSG, uh, a move away to anyone other than Manchester City, like I said, or a return to Barcelona looks incredibly unlikely. I don't think he's quite reached the heights we expected. I think we thought Neymar was going to bridge that gap between the supernaturals in the sense of Messi and Ronaldo and the likes of him, De Bruyne, Manuel Neuer, all the players you would associate with um, being the next top players in the world and he hasn't really done that in recent years and he's almost been in the shadow actually of Kylian Mbappe who's been fit and scoring goals. When Neymar's not been there he's still been able to do that and with the likes of Icardi, Di Maria in that PSG team, it's easy to forget when Neymar isn't playing that he actually plays for them. Overall, I think Neymar has been successful so far in his career. I, I understand why he moved away from Barcelona. I don't think anyone can doubt that. Whether it be for the money, whether it be for the experience, he won everything he could in um, Barcelona. I mean, after the first season in France, he won everything he could. I think he needs to push himself a little bit harder, come up against some of the world's elite on a day-to-day -day basis, a move to the Premier League or a move to the Bundesliga. It's possibly the best way to do that. Anyway, that concludes this week's Two Minute Tuesday. I know I've gone over on that one, so apologies there, but 
it was a lot to talk about in a short space of time. Like I said, if you do enjoy, be sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment, let me know, do you think Neymar has underperformed in his career or whether the move to PSG has actually benefited his career. Anyway, thanks for watching and as always, stay safe. Cheers.